Welcome to Engineering Scale Models. Today we're going to be pouring some two-part resin. This is Smoothcast 300. I have a variety of molds that I've made in previous videos and some I've made off camera. So we're gonna, this is a product from SmoothOn, Smoothcast 300. It's um, mix 1-1 by volume or 190 by weight. We're gonna do it by volume because I'm mixing up a larger batch than I normally would because I have quite a bit of molds to pour. So let's so let's get this opened up here. I have been using the 65D and I wanted to try this stuff. And I've also tried the 325 tintable. So Give this a stir. This is a stir well. So that is the bee stirred. Put the lid back on there so no dust gets into it, and then we'll get the A stirred, and then we'll get ready to mix. I know the way I stirred it will introduce some air, but I'm hoping it'll sit for a little bit. It's, it's, I probably could have shaken it, but I think that would have introduced more air than stirring it the way I did. So, we'll see. So we got that stirred up. Alright. Now, I'm going to do on these same exact medicine cups. Um, it's got it marked out at one tablespoon. But that will fit in my larger mixing cup. I will mix that and then I will get the molds to pour that into. So let's see here. It's the best way. Let me grab two of my syringes I have here. This one A, mark this one B. Hopefully, I can reuse these. Mark them better. Okay, so this one is going to be part A. This one's going to be part B. Okay, so I got them labeled. There's my. I'm going to the green line. The green line there. So. This one is my A. see exactly when I get there. Uh, 
There we go. Put the rest of that back. Okay, so that's my A syringe. We'll put that to the side. So that's my part A, and I believe this has got a pot life of like two and a half minutes. So we're gonna have to move quickly once we mix it. So we'll get our part B here. stuff doesn't want to go through the syringe as well. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to get our molds over here. These are going to be fun to fill. I'm going to fill up the big ones first. So... Or in A. Disaster. We'll see. I don't think I can get this poured into this little mold here. To... It's getting too thick. shelf does the working time is getting a little bit beyond its life all right so I don't know how this is going to turn out we're gonna let this cure and we're gonna come back it takes like 10 minutes so we'll, we'll come back and so we'll see what happens thanks guys real quick you could already see it's turning white 
into this cup see how it's already changing it's already going off in the cup um, so it's already starting to cure um, it was a pretty quick process um, this is a um, heat it, it cures faster in heat so the larger the the surf of the amount it, if it, you say it cures from the thickest spot first is what I'm trying to say um, it has an exothermic reaction so the thin parts will be um, cured last and the thicket part, thickest parts will cure first that's why what was left in this container is it's also very warm it's very warm in here and it is turned white because it has started to cure so we will have to wait for the thinnest sections which take the longest to cure so I mean even up here it's starting to cure down here on this one it's it's starting the curing process um, I, I don't have any hope I gave up giving up hope on the shoulder pads I don't think that they're gonna be anything spectacular um, these guitar pick molds I have poured before and they've been okay um, this little thing I have for my wife for Mother's Day it's a little pendant I carved out of wax so we're gonna cast that up and have my son paint it for her so we'll see what happens you see it's turning white in there that means it's curing so let's see see this is already hard in here so it's already hard I'm doing it on a silicone mat to um, you know so it'll peel off when it's time so I'll be back when it's all cured. I just wanted to show you how quick it was turning. I literally turned the camera off and it started turning white and I just popped it back on. Okay, I'm going to pop back in here. A lot of it has turned white and you would think that it would be um, ready to go. But as you can see, there's a puddle right here. It's kind of glistening. It has not completely turned white and that is super thin because, like I said, the thinnest sections cure the last. And this section right here on this pendant I made, this little loop section here, is very thin. And it I can see that it has not cured yet. So it may look like the whole thing is cured, but in this section right here, either it didn't pour or it's still not cured yet because I can still see clear. So I just want to let you know that like this is hard right here. So is this, but it's not it's not ready to be pulled out of the mold yet because even right here it's still curing in these thin sections on top of here and on this one that's out of the way that I should have moved better on camera and um, even on the sides of the resin mixing cup it's not fully cured but in the resin mixing cup it is rock hard so yeah it is rock hard so it's even it's even hard on some of these ports bases now it's a little green on this one, but you know it's getting there. So all these little drips and stuff, like on the mixing stick, it, it's not quite cured yet. So just wanted to pop in with that in the process of curing. It's been about five, ten minutes, maybe. Yeah, it's been about ten minutes since the the last clip, since I showed you it was starting to cure. So I'll give you a rough time when I come back in the next clip how long it's been before it's ready to be. Um, unmolded oh. okay it's been about 14 minutes since I poured the mold so here is where we're at this is a thin section that was poured onto the dripped over on my silicone mat and it is um, it is cured but it is very it is very green and soft it is not rigid yet so being it's so thin this is going to take a while to become rigid so I'm going to have to let this sit because like my pendants cured all this is cured but I don't want to pull it out because the I want to give them the maximum amount of time to harden but if you need it in a green state to maybe bend it around a form like say you wanted it to cure into this shape here you know just for example you wanted a curve in it you could pour it thin and do that but in this cup I mean I could pull I mean I should be able to pull this stuff out of this cup, this cup. see 
I pulled this block out of here. This block is still warm, but the block is is hard. So I ended up making more resin than I needed. But this is you hear that? That is it's so warm though. It's pretty interesting how it's warm. But um, I'm glad these cups were designed for resin and they clean up so I can use them again but um, you know it was going to be a good hard impact resin even the edges here are cured up where it got really warm um, you can pour these in warm modes I have a little mini crock pot here that um, I, I warm up my molds in sometimes it's a little mini crock pot it's like a 16 ounce or 20 ounce crock pot and I line it with cellophane and I put the molds in there for like an hour and it warms them up and it does cure a little bit faster at least with the 65D um, is what I used before because um, that, that's a semi-rigid this is supposed to be a harder um, molding thing and for my friend's guitar picks I was hoping that that would be the case so that is where we're at that was about 14-15 minutes after we poured it, um, they're, they're, they're hard, but I want to make sure all those thin sections, especially in this mold where the guitar pick has very thin edges. Um, I don't think I have the original sitting over here of what was in there. Check my wax bit in here. No, I don't have the original of what was in there. I can't find it. I'm sure I have it somewhere, but not on hand. So, but that's what's going on there. So, I'll be back when I know 100% these are cured. I'm probably going to give it an hour or two, maybe three, just to make sure. So, that's what's going to be on that. Okay, guys, it is roughly 40 minutes later. And these little thin pieces are hard. So I'm going to start with this guy right here because he's going to be the easiest to get out because the mold is a little bit split. There is that guy. Got a little bit of an air bubble in there and at the tip some issues but it's definitely a little greasy um, there's that one this one may be a little difficult to remove there's that one Again, I got a little bit of an air bubble at the tip, but probably could have poured the mold slower or opened up my filling port here a little bit. And of course, if I vacuumed, if I pressure these, they would be. There is, yeah, again, I got an air bubble at the tip of my copy of my wax one. I mean, it's not that bad. It gets rounded a little bit, but looks pretty good. Let's check out one of these shoulder pads. Now that turned out great. I'm going to have to turn this light off. But that turned out, if you need a Space Marine shoulder pad, there you go, right there. There is a Space Marine shoulder pad. And... It's got a little bit of flash on it. You just got to clean that up when it's fully cured. But not all of these are going to be done fully. But it looks like this one and this one are good. This one has a little air bubble in it. And this one didn't get poured because the resin was curing too fast. But so far so good on that I don't even know about this here and all of these poured well 
they're the same as the same design but every one of these turned out so the, the mold just had to be poured faster is what the issue was but there you go making space marine shoulder pads that's what we're doing here so now let's check out my design here yep there's the design I designed for my wife so it's hard to see because it's white but that is a copy of this right here see it right over here it's a copy of that just needs to be cleaned up and it'll be good to go but I'm gonna let this cure I'm gonna let these cure overnight before I put a sanding on them but this was basically casting some resin into these molds I made I'm very happy the way the Space Marines um, shoulder pads turned out that is a great way if you have one of a faction you want you can make multiple copies not ha I'm not real happy with getting air bubbles at the tips of my little picks here, but hopefully I can just fix that a little bit and all will be good, but um, hopefully. So that is Smoothcast 300. I like this better than the 65D. So that is that. You guys can visit me on these social media sites or send me an email if you have any questions it's more than welcome I'll respond to it and you can also support me on patreon and help the channel grow thank you guys so much and have a fantastic day